This video will show you how to make and wear an ear loop fitter. It goes over a mask to reduce the gaps between the mask and your face. You will need approximately 19 inches of elastic. The elastic should stretch easily. If it doesn't, start with at least 24 inches of elastic. You will also need approximately 12 inches of garden tie. Or you can use pipe cleaner. Here I have twisted three pipe cleaners together. If you have a large face, neck, and or beard, use longer than 12 inches. A 14 inch length typically works well for these cases. I'll use the garden tie here, but the steps are the same for the twisted pipe cleaners. You will need a needle nose pliers or similar. Form a loop at each end of the garden tie. Find the middle of the fitter and bend it at the middle. So here I've got 11 and a half. So five and three quarters is the middle. So I'm gonna bend it downward actually. So those loops go down. So I make a bend like that in the middle. So the loops come up toward the camera. The bend is like this. Okay, so that's the bend. Now, three inches on either side make another bend like that and then three inches make another bend like that good add a loop to one of the bends an easy way to do that is with a twist tie Use a smooth plastic coated twist tie if you have one. So first I make a loop around my needle nose pliers and then twist that so I get this shape. And then I twist it onto the bend like that. And then I use the scissors to cut that and then I bend this up. So it's this will this part where the loop comes up will be the front and I want that on the front so it doesn't poke the person wearing it. All right, so we've got a loop. Now we're going to take our elastic and tie it to the opposite bend over here. So just a simple knot there. And that you get pretty tight. You never want that to come off. So that one's tight. Okay, then we're gonna feed the elastic around to make an ear loop and feed it into the end loop on the garden tie, squeeze that shut, and it should pull through there if you pull hard, but otherwise stay in place. So that's good. Then same on the other one, I'm gonna feed it into that loop, squeeze that so it pulls, but you have to pull kind of hard. And then finally, through the twist tie loop, and then tie it to itself. Like this. With another real simple knot. And you don't want this extremely tight. You want to be able to slide the knot along the elastic with some effort. And that's gonna be a way to adjust the fitter overall. Next, we will use hook and loop material, 
specifically the hook material, we don't use the loop material that this sticks to. So two pieces about one inch, so this is one inch wide, by one and a quarter inch work well. So I'm gonna go, there's the first piece, one by one and a quarter. There's the next piece, one by one and a quarter. And then we'll end up with a piece about half an inch by one inch. We're gonna save this too. Uh, um, take off the adhesive. This is adhesive backed. And we want to wrap it around the fitter near the end loop and stick it to itself. So right here in the front, this is the front of the fitter where the loops come out and this thing is in front, and now these Velcro, where the Velcro is stuck to itself, comes out front. And same here, hook and loop material. Wrap it around, stick it to itself like this. Great. Now we're going to take these two items, the fitter and the Velcro tab to a mirror to try on. 